Andy from twnonline.co.uk. I've had a lot of questions recently about creating PDFs from Office and other software, so I thought I'd put together a quick and simple guide on how to get set up to create PDFs with Word 2007. Before we dive straight into creating PDF documents, I just wanted to take a moment to look at why PDFs are so useful uh, and so widely used. They're a fantastic way of sharing documents with other people and still keeping the document looking uh, and containing the same content as it did when you created it, uh, without having to worry what operating system or software the people you're sharing your documents with um, are using. Um, free PDF readers are available for pretty much most operating system. Um, some, like Apple OS X, even have support built right into the uh, operating system because PDF is an open standard which, which anyone can use. Um, so they're kind of a really good choice if you want to share a document and you don't necessarily want someone to edit it, uh, menus, price list, that sort of thing. To get started converting and creating PDFs right from Word 2007, there are a few things we need to set up first and in this guide I'm going to be showing you how to create PDFs from Word 2007 using a free product called Cute PDF from a company called Acro Software. So let's go ahead and get the things we need to uh, get set up from uh, Acro's website, www cutepdf.com The home page is now loaded um, and as you can see there's all sorts of information about the products um, that Cute PDF make. Um, they do all sorts of um, PDF tools so it's worth checking out what they do because some of the other things might be useful to you as well because the product that we're going to download and set up um, is quite a basic tool um, but it, it does does the job for most people um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and show you how to download that and where to get that from. Uh, from the products menu I'm just going to go to Cute PDF Writer um, and on the home page for PDF Writer uh, is all the information I need to know about what system um, I need to run this, um, what other optional components I need. Um, so it's worth checking that out and having a quick read through for yourself. Now what I'm going to do is just quickly download the setup file here uh, which contains both of the two downloads displayed above and I'll explain what they are um, while waiting for that to download. I'm just going to save that to my uh, desktop. Okay. That's just going to take a second to uh, download. Okay, so my download's now finished. I'm just going to close the download window and close Internet Explorer. Okay, so on my desktop I've now got uh, my zip file that I've just downloaded uh, and I just want to extract the contents of my uh, zip file. So just by right clicking um, I can extract the contents. Um, this should work for you if you're using Windows XP, um, Vista or, or Windows 7, so you should be good to go there. Uh, if you do have WinZip or something else installed, um, just extract those files to the the desktop or unzip them. Okay, so the files have now been uh, unzipped and we can see we've got the two components that I mentioned earlier, Converter and Cute Writer. Um, Converter is an open source project, uh, it's a piece of software called GhostScript. Uh, if you want to know more about that you can check that out uh, over at ghostscript.com but all you really need to know is that you need that installed in order to make Cute Writer work. So let's go ahead and install uh, the GhostScript or the Converter. Uh, by double clicking. Uh, because I'm using Windows 7, uh, user account control um, just wants to check that uh, it's okay to run this, this file and we know it's going to run that so I'm just going to click yes. Uh, and now the setup wizard for converter uh, has appeared so I'm just going to click setup. Shouldn't take long to run through. Um, don't worry about the big black box, that is normal um, and once that's been installed uh, that goes away. Depending on what uh, operating system you're using, uh, this window may or may not be displayed. Um, it's just trying to check that, that the piece of software we've installed um, did, did what we expected it to do. Um, it's not a fault or anything like that uh, and it's safe to say in this instance um, that this program installed correctly. Um, so don't worry about that too much. Um, now we need to go ahead and install the second part which is the cute PDF uh, virtual printer. So I'm just double, going to double click on the uh, Cute Writer. Um, again we're asked um, just to make sure that we want to run this, that it's not a malicious file. Um, as we know where it came from I'm just going to click run. And again user account control just wants to confirm um, that I want to run this, so yes. And then we should see the uh, Cute Writer wizard um, pop up. There it is. Okay so to run through this wizard fairly quickly, um, it just explains that I'm going to install um, Qt PDF. So 
I'm just going to click next. Um, there is a simple license agreement, uh, well worth reading just to make sure you comply. Uh, it's something you do have to agree to if you want to install um, Qt PDF Writer to your system. I've actually read through this and I'm quite happy with the terms, so I'm just going to click I accept and next. This next screen um, is about the Ask toolbar that's going to be installed. It is an optional install. Um, I think it probably helps Qt Writer uh, to be free, so um, it's entirely up to you whether you want to install that or not. Uh, I'm just going to leave that there, but if you do want to uh, opt not to install this, just simply untick um, the ticks uh, and that won't be installed. But I'm just going to leave that there for the moment uh, and click Next. The wizard's got all the information it needs to go off and configure um, Qt Writer for me, so I'm just going to click install and let that run off and install. Okay, so the install is finished, fairly painless, um, and you'll notice Internet Explorer uh, has opened up a page just explaining um, Qt PDF Writer um, and how to create a document um, in there. That's We're going to go through that in this guide anyway, so um, one thing of note that is in this um, little guide um, is how to uninstall um, Qt PDF Writer, uh, which you may want to refer to later. Uh, now, if you do want to find this, this README uh, at a later date, it actually lives in C Program Files, um, Acro Software, Qt PDF Writer, and it's called README.htm. So if you do want to go back to that later, um, that's where that lives. Okay, I'm just going to close some of these windows down uh, and we'll take a look um, and make sure that, that the new our new virtual printer or our PDF printer has been installed. Uh, while, while we do that, I'm just going to pop these in the recycle bin because I don't need them anymore. Uh, start devices and printers and let's go and take a look at uh, the printers that we've got installed on this system. Okay, so on my system now you can see um, I've got three printers, one of which is a fax, uh, Microsoft XPS Document Writer, which I'm not going to explain or go into too much detail about that, and Qt PDF Writer. Now that is the printer that we've just installed by installing the Qt Writer software. So it's there and it's set as default. If it isn't set as default on your system, simply right click and put a tick next to set as default printer because um, for the next stage we're going to want to actually print uh, a PDF document uh, from, from Word 2007. Over in my My Documents folder, I have a document that I created earlier on, uh, which is just a simple sample document using one of the Microsoft uh, Word templates. So I'm just going to open that document so we can take a quick look at that document before we turn that into a PDF. As you can see, we've got a multi-page document uh, with a fairly complex layout. Um, there's, there's a couple of columns in there, there's some pictures. Um, and this, this is a sample document I want to turn into a PDF. So the process for uh, converting any of your Word documents uh, into a new PDF document uh, is just as simple as printing as you did do uh, before to, to your real printer. So I'm just going to go to the Office disk, select Print, and print this document. Now again you'll notice that Qt PDF Writer is the printer that I've got selected. If it's anything different, just click on the little down arrow and select Qt PDF Writer from the list. I'm not going to change any of the print settings because they're all pretty much how I want them to be. All the pages um, and no scaling or anything like that. So I'm just going to click OK and the document should be sent to print to our new Keep PDF printer. After a couple of seconds the Save As window should, should pop up, which is not something you normally see when printing, but because we're going to print this to a document rather than a real printer, uh, it needs to know where it wants to save the document and what it wants to be called. I'm going to leave it called My Sample Document. The file type is fine, it's a PDF, and it's going to save into My My Documents. So I'm just going to click Save uh, to finish this process. So that's now printed a new PDF a copy of this document we have open. So I'm just going to close Microsoft Word. Okay, so as you can see in My My Documents, I've got two documents. The original sample document with the Word icon next to it, and a new document with the Acrobat um, icon next to it. So let's go ahead and open up the Acrobat, which is the uh, document we've just printed and there you can see it's pretty much an exact copy of the Word document but this time it's a PDF um, so we can use that to send to our customers or uh, email to whoever we need to. I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any questions please feel free to email us at info at twnonline.co.uk